Native Wind is basically the tailwind for React Native. Today, we are going to look at how to set it up for your React Native project. I'm currently on their documentation. And once you get here, you go to the getting started. But for some reason, this is collapsible. I don't know why, but you click on getting started and then you select React Native. You should be presented with this. Now let's go to the installation section. So you copy this and then you paste. My internet is slow, so I had to install this before setting up the video. So you paste that, paste this, and then you start with your installation. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, install ports. So I'm going to do NPS port install. And then this should um, install ports. So once that is done, now we come here to run this command NPS tailwind CSS init. So yeah, this is done. We run this command to generate um, tailwind.config.js. So this is it. Now we come back to the documentation and basically copy this and paste. Now the next step is to um, create a global.css file and then paste this into it. So come over here, new file global.css and then we paste this now the next step is to so i'm not using expo i'm using framework less so i'm going to copy this and go into my bubble config.js we should be right here and then add this to the presets now what's next so the next step is to go into your metro config.js. So I'll basically copy this and overwrite what already exists. So command A and then paste. What's left? Now we import our global CSS file in our app.js. So come over here, you know something. And then I'm going to paste this over here. Okay, so this is done and if you are using typescript you'd have to do this so we create a native wind this file name <laughs> so i'll come here and then paste this and this should be the content so great so now i can come over here and do class name you see now i can use class name but this is not going to work right away but i would have to show you so let me do flex one bg black and i can start let me terminate this let my terminal and do yarn ios Sorry about that. Let me try this again. Yarn iOS. Hmm. I think something has gone wrong. Cannot find model Expo. Okay. So over here, I I didn't select the right. What was it? Go back. So over here, I would have to select framework less instead. So I'm going to copy this, go back into my Metro command A. So if you are using Expo, you paste what I used um previously. Okay, so now let me open my terminal, close this, cancel this, close, cancel this. Yeah, and iOS, now everything should make sense now. Okay, this is running fine. And then we wait for this to start up. So I'm currently using the native wind version four and the um, react native 0.76.1. So this is the versions. This is the react native version and this is the native wind. Native wind, yeah, this is it. So we wait for, for some reason, this is taking up some time, but okay. Ha, we are far, we are.
okay so you see now we have um a blank page but we have our styles here which isn't working okay so flex one still not working justify center align item center you see this is still not working but you might be wondering how am i getting the intelligence the tailwind css intelligence so i have this um this what is it plugin tailwind css intelligence so it's made by the tailwind lab it's it's an official tailwind plugin so you can install this and you should be able to get those intelligence now let's come to fixing this code so we come to tailwind config yeah over here and then you see with the content it's currently targeting um an app folder but we don't have that so we are going to just do slash um, dot and then we are going to add the extensions that we wanted to support so jss and then css okay you see now it's worked everything changed so now you can go back into our app and then change this to white it works voila so um what's class name represents is style so anything that has styles um that comes from the react native package and then has styles um available you can use the class name so with the test you can come here and do class name tests so i can press control and space to get my intelligence and then i can do test okay let me give it some font size 13. you see um it doesn't work so with font size you would have to add units so i'll do pixels and then it should work okay now i can do font bold i can give it some margin let's say width full to take 100 percent of the weight and then i can do test center to bring it back so yeah and if you want to use it for something like flat list so flat list you see flat list has styles like container content container style so over here the corresponding tailwind class name or property name is going to be container class name and it's going to apply to that okay so this is this is um just um a video for you to set it up and then get using it there's more to it and you can find more or discover more on it on the tailwind website so this is going to be just it if you want more insights on this you can comment it in the um, in the comment section and i'll take a look at it thank you for watching and see you in the next one